Hi guys, I really want to share something that has been on my heart this week and I believe it's the voice of God really trying to encourage us, you know, this week and this season and, you know, right now, any idea we get from God in this generation right now is to turn it into a business and sometimes the things that God has given to, to, to you and I actually think that it's a killer, that is it's destroying us as a as a people, is that every time that God gives us an idea, we think to ourselves, how can we make it a business? How can we make it into something? And sometimes the thing that God is giving you isn't really that, it isn't about making money. It's not about a business. It's not about anything other than serving humanity. And that heart of servanthood, that heart of servanthood as in how God, how can you use my life to benefit humanity is missing from the body of Christ. And we have to return to that. I'm not saying that God can't say to you, start a business or give you an idea for a business. But just because you see everybody starting a business doesn't mean that the idea he's giving you or the gift that he's giving you or the skill that he's giving you, that that is to start a business too. And we have to be able to actually be able to put a, a clear line and discern when God is telling us to start a business and when God is asking us to serve. And I want to encourage some of you as well today. Listen, there is somebody that we are speak, I'm speaking to right now who God is speaking to you so clearly to step out and do something, but you are so afraid of failing. And the fear of, of failures imprisoned you and has made you captive. And I just want you to break free from that because the enemy will keep you captive in the idea that you might fail. Baby, let me tell you something. The fact is that most of the time we do fail. But the thing that God has called us to do is bigger than the errors that we are going to make. The thing that God has asked us to do isn't really about us. It's about, he's just trying to use us as a vehicle because the purpose of the thing that he's asking us to do is greater than the errors and the failures that we are going to make. And it reminds me so much of the story of Moses. You know, Moses made a lot of errors on the journey. He made a lot of errors in his life as an individual, but the errors wasn't greater than the purpose. His errors were not was not greater than the purpose. Listen, God has called you. He is speaking to you. He's inspiring you. And he already knows the errors that you are going to make. He already knows where you are going to fail. But the purpose... If you take your eyes away from yourself and realize that, listen, this thing that God has asked me to do isn't really about me, but there is a purpose that is attached to it. As his children, we are bond servants, meaning that we choose to serve God. We are free, but we are choosing to use our life to serve God and the interest of his kingdom. And God is inspiring you. He's instructing you to do something. And sometimes it's not a business. It's not even something grand and big but he's saying I want you to do this thing and you are afraid of what people may think you're afraid of the fact that you might fail and God is saying listen I don't even care about those things I don't care about the, your, your inadequacies I don't care about where you are going to make the errors what I need you to do is so necessary in the picture of what I'm trying to, 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 to paint right now it is so necessary and I trust you I trust you to carry out and so listen he has already made the provisions for where you will make the errors. He will use it to better you and strengthen you and make you to be a testimony that others can look towards and look to. But the purpose is so great that you can't be stuck in the fear of failure. I want you to take this week to begin to embark and do at whatever level. It could be so small today but just do it just take a step of faith just just do it Moses walked to the Pharaoh properly afraid he walked to him properly scared because he is going back to this person knowing that it isn't really possible that he could be put back in prison he walked he, he walked back to Pharaoh knowing that this people would, would in fact there was a point where it looked like he was failing because he was going to Pharaoh based on the voice of God and every time he went back Pharaoh made the 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 punishment and the lives of 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 made the punishment of the children of Israel even greater and he made their lives even worse it looked like Moses was failing, but God had trust 
Moses, that listen, even though you may appear like you're failing, you may make errors, even though I know that you've got an anger issue that you haven't sorted out, even though that I, I, I know I'm going to instruct you to do something and you're going to go ahead of yourself and do something else, I need you not to get caught up on the things that you will fail at. And I want you to be focused on the fact that I'm trusting you to do something, that I'm trusting you to, to deliver a people. I'm trusting for you to live your life bigger and, 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 and more focused on something greater than yourself. You know, I'm trusting you on all those things that I need you just to move. That is what Moses did and that is why we celebrate him as a, as, as a great deliverer of God's children. And there is something that God has put in your hands that will propel you and leave your legacy to say you did something with your life. You know, regardless of the fact that you might fail, I need you to be encouraged to put your faith, you know, um, shield on and take a step to do the things that God has laid in your heart. If you fail, baby, you will dust your feet off. You will dust your feet off and you will start again. It is okay. But don't be imprisoned. Don't imprison your dreams, your visions, your idea, and your purpose to the idea and the fear of failure. What I'm praying for any single person right now who might be going through that situation right now where the enemy is keeping you captive in the idea or the fear of failure. I'm speaking to you right now and I'm releasing you in the name of Jesus that you will begin to be begin to it, it kind of rise up out of fear and step in the things that God has called you to do. I'm believing that visions will begin to rise right now in the name of Jesus. I'm beginning that ideas will begin to become reality in the name of Jesus. Listen, the testimonies that will come out of the thing that God has called you to do, it will be so mighty and so meaningful. And I pray the help of the angels of God to come and help you right now. God bless you. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name name. Amen. I love you guys so much. Have an incredible week. Have a blessed week and a week filled with the favor of God. Love you all.